Yeah, the game was getting a little tight there at the end. Uh, how much did you want to just take it upon yourself, get to the basket? What was your mindset in the in those final possessions there as you were you were trying to seal the game there? Get a bucket. Yeah, that's it. Get a bucket, Ant. For sure. And how much, I guess, did you want to drive to the basket in that situation instead of settling for a jump shot? Because sometimes you might settle, sometimes you might not. How much did you want to just get to the basket? That's what you call it, settling? Settling for a jump shot, yeah. That's what you call it? I don't call it settling. I call it playing basketball. If I if I want to take a jump, I'm going to take a jumper. If I want to go to the rim, we'll go to the rim. I don't call it settling. Um, I don't even know why it's called settling. I'm saying, but yeah, I I wanted to go to the rim and I got there. And was this uh, kind of the response that you wanted to see coming off of a loss that you guys all were? Yeah, for sure. Big response from D'Lo. Mm -hmm. well, just that that was that was the biggest one for us. And uh, Vando played a huge role in the win tonight. What did you kind of feel just in terms of the last, you know, practice shoot around and just in terms of the focus that you saw from your group to try and rebound and, and just get, get back into it? Uh, I would say um, not so much in a shoot around, but the last practice, it was it was great. You know what I'm saying we played a little bit. People, we was coming in there thinking it's just going to be, you know, walk through, but we got up and down and it worked for us for sure because we came out ready tonight. Did you see, especially offensively, the kind of ball movement that you wanted to see the other night? Yeah, for sure. Got to get a little better with finding the other guys. But as far as everybody touching the ball, everybody being happy, feeling good, yeah, I was I was pretty satisfied with it tonight. Also, Ant, was it kind of nice to see? I mean, you guys played obviously really great in the first quarter offensively. Then you needed to win with kind of defense and guts down the stretch to be able to kind of do it different ways to, to, to kind of pull this one out. Yeah, I mean, it was great. Um, whoever – had the ball was going at, at the end of the game. I mean, Cat, D-Lo, me, whoever, it didn't really matter. So I had it at the end, and D-Lo was coming. <laughs> it's like, bro, just gone. I got it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Let me be a closer, too, <laughs> for sure. All right, we'll go to the Zoom court. Go ahead. We'll get started with Jace. Jace, go ahead. And offensively, you got a little stagnant at the end of the game. I think like five minutes stretch where you guys didn't score, but you held them off with the defense. Um, you've done that a few times this year. What does that say about this group that, that you can win games on that end of the court? Man, we lock up, man. I don't care what nobody say about us. We play uh, the best defense in the league. Um, I snapped that. And <laughs> <laughs> we're going to have uh, two, three people on the all defensive teams. You know what I'm saying? And I might be on one of them. <laughs> You know what I'm saying, but nah, we we definitely can win the games on the defensive end, man. Everybody, uh, boxes and elbows, um, make them make them make the next pass. Uh, you know what I'm saying? That's what it was about tonight. I don't let Young speed us. I mean, he still went for I think like forty, but <laughs> so we won. So the game plan worked for sure. And like just the way, like you talked about, like the practice yesterday, like you know, teams are gonna lose games they don't want to lose, are disappointed in, and then, but you guys were clearly upset about that and did something about it. Like, does that show growth in a team when you respond like that? When you just come back and turn your anger into success? Yeah, for sure. I mean, when you respond like that, that's that's big. But like I told the people after the game, um, that's just one game. We can come out and play like shit versus uh, Denver. You know what I'm saying? So we just we it's about with, with us. It's about uh, how many games can we put together as as us playing like that. And we can't come out and play like this versus defending champs and then go play Denver and don't bring the same energy. Like, as long as we bring the same energy every game, we, we're going to be a hard team to beat. How do you make sure that the team brings the same energy? Talk my shit before the game. <laughs> Talk my shit before the game. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Put little baby on, wrap the lyrics. I get everybody hyped. We up. It's time to go. There you go. We'll go to Dane next. Dane, go ahead. And the last game was uh... – super emotional, you know, whether it be to the refs, just kind of all over the place. Why do you think the emotions were a little bit more controlled tonight? I mean, we came in here, uh, Pat Bev said at shoot around, uh, they the defending champs, man. It ain't a call they're not going to get, you know? So we just came together like we ain't going to cry today. Like if they give it to us, they give it to us. If they don't, then, you know, we can do that. They the defending champs. <laughs> Can't do nothing about it. So, yeah, that was kind of our motive. What impact is Jared Vanderbilt – having or did he have tonight that and specifically on the the defensive rebounding or offensive all rebounding oh yeah, right. <laughs> uh, man he's i tell he's my he's my favorite player on the team um like i said i just i, I love to see him succeed man because 
he helps us tremendously. I, I can't even describe. I'm, I'm just happy for him, bro. I, I love to see him succeed. Is it just like contagious? That's what it. Yeah, it, like like he he like. he he's a contagious person. Like if he, anytime he's on the floor, we playing better. We we playing harder. We making the extra pass. We making the extra close out. You know what I'm saying? We just we we one step faster. Lucas, go ahead. Dane stole my question, so I'll uh, come up with another one here quick. Uh, um, let's say, you know, for you to come out with the comments that you said after last game and then have your teammates kind of respond the way that they did tonight, um, what does that mean to you personally, and what do you think that shows about D'Lo and Kat in particular? I mean, it shows that um, all three of us are willing to take uh, criticism and take it the right way, not the wrong way, you know, and, and grow. And that's great, like, because we all need it. We we still young. I mean, I know they got, like, six years maybe in the league. I don't know. But we're still young, like 25, 26. So uh, we all need it for sure. We have time for two more. We'll go Chris Doss and then Jim. Chris Doss, go ahead. Hello, Anthony. Congratulations on the win and the performance as well. Appreciate for it. For you as a team and for you personally, what it means, the way that you respond after the loss against the Pelicans and the way that you – Dominate on the floor for the most of the game tonight. What do you say? How how important for you as a team was to respond after the loss against the Pelicans? Okay, and okay, the- hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, okay. It was very important. I mean, because after the game today, we was like, man, we could have been uh four and zero. You know what I'm saying? But we 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 let one slip away, and and we came in here like, shit. Why not? Why 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 can't we sneak one? You know what I'm saying? We gave one away. Let's get one back. So. We came here with a mindset that we was going to win no matter what. Jim, go ahead. Hi, Ant. Uh, Yanis was really getting his mojo on there tonight, especially going down the home stretch. Uh, but was it really the next bucket mentality for you guys after when Yanis was hitting those, hitting, getting 40 points? Was it really, right, we need next bucket, next bucket, next bucket? Yeah, I mean, with a guy like that, you can't stress about him scoring like that's what he gonna do <laughs> i mean he, motherfucker sam two, 280 pounds like ain't nothing you can do about it <laughs> like shit we put four people on him but we still score the ball like, i was telling leo uh, leo today i was like because i played we played young slash i'm like bro i ain't never seen nothing like it like you can put four people on him he he might miss it jump right back up dunk that bit. i mean like it's nothing you can do about it so him scoring the ball is it, it doesn't amaze none of us we like this is what he do you know what i'm saying but I can't even say we contained him. He still went for 40. Like, the game plan was to not let him beat us. And we came out victorious, but he still went for 40. I mean, he, he's amazing, man. There's nothing I can say about you. He's it's unstoppable. I don't, I, don't know what, I don't know what to say. Great. Thanks so much, Ant. Have a safe trip back. Yeah, appreciate it. Yep. Thanks, guys.